Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to episode number 28 of our Bradford City Youth Academy All-Star Series. And to kick off this episode, we are in the first game against Coventry City. And we are starting probably our best uh, starting 11s to begin this episode and hopefully get our win a win under our belt. And coming into the 8th minute now, all sweat on the ball. Passes it in to Baker, who fake shot around a defender and gets taken out. The defender didn't have a chance to get that ball and just uh, took out Baker. Gets his yellow card there, and let's see if we can step up and hopefully get this on the on target. All Rachetti is going to step up and take this, and look at this for a strike right in the top corner by All Rachetti. What a goal to kick us off in this episode and wow look look at this strike again by all Rashetti. just picks his spot left footed just whips it in the top right hand corner wonderful look just right past that guy's head and then the keeper has no chance whatsoever last look at it just perfect up just just right there just perfect keeper can't do anything about that one now coming into the halftime, a whistle. Um, Coventry have good possession on the ball at the edge of our box and have an opportunity to shoot, but Svensson is there to save it, and we do clear it. Now coming into the second half, um, Barton on the ball for them. Daniels, and they get one goal back by scoring a pretty all. We that was awful defending by us, but we'll we'll have to get back and hopefully get another goal. Keat on the ball, Pat throwing it into Archie. But Archie can't put it on net. And now Bizot from a corner kick in the 75th minute has it. Comes out to Allsweat. Allsweat going to pass it to Molina. Molina going to go back out to Bizot. Bizot now has the ball out wide. Cuts back inside. Looks for a pass to Alrichetti. Alrichetti can't find the uh, shot. But now it's Rubinho. Rubinho. But he hits it just wide. And we will tie this game 1-1 to Coventry City to start this episode off and now coming into the second game getting right into it we are starting a slightly weaker team because that was about the last game was about two or three days ago games are coming thick and fast in this series and we are away at Doncaster Rovers and now in the third minutes only three minutes in Archie turning his defender gets taken off it but keeps going Crosses it in, but Wassam cannot find the finish and hits it just wide. Now Watkins playing it over to Wassam. Wassam with a good opportunity to put us 1-0 up, and he does. Puts it near post, past the keeper. Keeper can't do anything about that one. And now coming in only nine minutes later, Doncaster trying to find an equalizer, but Warren is there to clear it out to Wassam. Wassam up to Archie. And Archie going to do what he does best and just go for a little bit of a run past a couple of defenders. And he shoots and just tidy, just as you like in the bottom left-hand corner. Nothing their team can do about it. Hopefully we can get a couple more goals so Archie can get up to uh, Brush's targets from last year. But we'll, we'll have to find out still. Ratsy getting the ball, can't trying to find Archie. Archie does get on the ball from their guys' mistakes. One guy slides at him, beats him, uh, Archie's still going, just too easy for him, trying to finish, and he does to make it 3-0 and put him with two goals in this game, only 35 minutes in, just easy for, too, it's just too easy for Archie, he can just keep going, keep running, and they can't, they can't do anything about it, but look at that for a goal from Doncaster, what was, what are we doing with that defending, what was Warren doing, he like, passed it to the guy he like chested it down for the guy and then they just easy in and then all Rashetti almost with a uh, similar goal to his first one in this episode but couldn't quite get it there the keeper did save it and now 71 minutes in Archie on the ball now going out wide cutting back inside has like five people uh, around him but that doesn't matter Archie's gonna find his hat trick and puts it in the back of the net to make it 4-1, back to three-goal lead. Now Watkins to Alrichetti. Alrichetti now has a chance to get his goal for this game. Uh, cuts back but fakes it and then gets taken down by their defender. What a stupid mistake that was by the Doncaster Rovers player. And it was a red card too. And now 
Ratty looks like he's going to step up and take it, but we're not going to allow that to happen. All Rashetti want it. All Rashetti's going to take it. Even now, Archie, if he does take this, he could get closer to Brush's record. He doesn't care. He'll give it to All Rashetti, and All Rashetti will dispatch it in the back of the net to put us up 5 1 in this game. What a game by us. We are absolutely killing it right now. And now we are in a game against Portsmouth, and we are back to our best 11 because I believe. We had a bit of a break, and we rested a lot of them in the last game, even though we won still 5-1. And now, only five minutes in, Svensson has a goal kick up to Alrichetti. Alrichetti heads it down to Archie, and Archie's going to breeze past one of their center backs and cut back out and finishes it with the inside of his right foot, finesses it in the bottom right-hand corner, and they can't do anything about it. And now Alrichetti getting on the ball from an Archie pass, cuts back inside, and does a bit of the same thing as Archie and finishes it with a finesse shot in the bottom right-hand corner. And that is all she wrote. There was nothing in that game after that. I just was taking long shots and wasn't really thinking about too much. So now we are in a squad report or a scout report. And we do leave uh, the Americans there, the ones that are like 90 to 88s and stuff. And we do find Fayo, I guess that's how you say it, a goalkeeper with 94 potential, looking really good. And we get rid of everybody else. And now the last game, I believe, of this episode is against Plymouth Argyle uh, away from home. And hopefully we can keep up this good run of form that we are on I don't think we've lost a game in a really long time so hopefully we can keep that up and now Barnes playing it into Archie Archie with the ball to Ratsy can Ratsy find a goal and he does just easy finesse shot in the bottom right hand corner a bit like Archie and all Rochetti's goals from uh, the last game a good pass by Archie there doesn't assist much but when he does it's a good pass from him and now um like 10 minutes later, Ratsy getting on the ball again from a switch. And now it's a Ratsy to Archie, a switch around from the first goal. And can Archie put it away? Of course he can put it away at that near post and make it 2-0 to us. Archie just killing it this episode, trying to get to that 46 that uh, Brush got to last year. And now only like 10 minutes later, uh, Plymouth having a good run of uh, possession there. Can't quite get it out from us. And now Will Dig on the ball. Kone with a big stop, though. Molina trying to get onto him, but they keep going. And then all sweat with an unbelievable slide challenge in the box. But they keep getting the ball, and they get a crap rebound and score to put it 2-1. And we only have a one-goal lead now. All sweat now on the ball, playing it into Wassam. Wassam trying to get there. Does kind of get there. Gets the ball in the end. Turns his man, plays it into Archie, and Archie with his right foot puts it in the back of the net to make it back a two-goal lead and put us up 3-1 in this game. Look at this again. Wassam just turns his man, plays it in to Archie, and Archie just scores. That's a bit like Pirlo yesterday in the New, uh, New York City FC game in his debut, but... Anyways, we do win that game 3-1, and we are at the top of the table by 7 points, and that will be the end of this episode. Until next time, I will see you guys later.